Howdy, this is Lekius, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. I happen to be doing some analysis of the battle we just had with the Russians as the Germans with both 16 and 14 inch barrels involved. I wanted to show you kind of how I was parsing that out through it in Excel. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do initially was to find anything that had to do with gunnery, which the common thing is some inch cannon fires at someone else. Get some conditional formatting going. We see that these are all the ones that have that case. If we wanted to, we could actually delete all these extra ones because they're not really important for our analysis. It's flooding. Or is hit on Prince Eugen. That's hits they're getting on us. Or very few. I was really surprised at how poor the gunnery of the Russians was. Cannot keep up, is detached, limits flooding. Fire extinguished, electric power restored, limits flooding. And battery hits. <clears throat> Fire reduced, limits flooding. I know I could probably sort this a little bit better to make it. Actually, why don't we do that? Didn't want to sort it out of order, but I'm going to. I have to parse it for that, though. Why don't we do this? Do a fixed width. Fine with that as a suggestion. I'll break it into three columns. We take the formatting, apply it to everything. We delete the date. We don't need the date. And then we can sort. Current selection, column A, A to Z. Torpedoes from Jaguar. And we have all of the gunnery that takes place. And then we have all the special cases. These ones highlighted because they back in action. Stuff like that. Uh, we're not really interested in the six inch hits. Might be curious as an analysis of Russian armor. Not too concerned about that though. We're interested in 16 versus 14. We have those here. Insert a couple of columns. We're looking at, get another one, 14 inch, 16 inch, whoops, and we're looking at number of hits, we get a well uh, there's too many possibilities. Oh. Count if within this range the left most text two characters oh, I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm trying to do everything all at once worth doing though equals count if in here oh well, that will work it, no because it's the left most so I need do need to parse it out slightly so this column will become the left most read column to read the left two characters otherwise I won't get the right results I can't use the count if directly There we go. Taking that out equals count if in this range is 
14. Does that work? And we should be able to copy that out, paste it, change it to 16. We have 40 to 218 hits. In addition, let's text columns again, fixed width. I uh, don't care about that. I do want there. We have a variable number of yards from three digits to five. Just finished to that point. Yes. Will that still work or does it break the. Yeah, it breaks it. So we could literally replace this entire column with just inch, which I will do. Oops, I forgot this is still reading the leftmost. So we will paste special values, clearing the formulas from all. Switch to inches. So I want this to be readable after the fact. There we go. Why are you being freaking out about this? I don't care if the number stored as text. Or to a number. There you go. Are you happy now? Then we're going to want to see. I want this to equal. Uh, what is the formula for it? Find text of yards within that text. That text. Seven characters. So we want that minus two. Bracket that one. Then we do the left, which takes the characters leftmost, the right. And we use that as the value for the number of characters. Add some parentheses at the end, it's all good. Now we have all the yards. We'll add in our yards. Insert another one, copy, paste. Copy, paste special values. And then we get our description field, which will be, actually I shouldn't have cleared that yet. Rather than left, we want mid, which starts from some specified point in the middle. We want to look through that text, starting at where yards is, plus one, two, and we want to grab 200 characters. Now I'll get the rest of whatever it is. Actually, that's still the start number, because I need a comma. That still grabs yards because it's counting from the beginning, so we need the three characters of yards. Critical hit. Paste that all into here. Grab, copy, paste special, values, auto width, delete. Now, the other thing we want to do. Yeah, I know I can do control up to go to the top for those who are familiar with it. Or to number. We want to see if there's a critical hit. Or not a critical hit, a penetrating hit. So if actually find ah, equals 
find asterisk within there. Oh, right. Special character needs to be quoted. Stop that. Right. Find special character asterisk within K1. And what is the result when it can't find it? I do not recall. It'll throw an error, value error. So if error value if error um, non penetrating and if there is no error we need to nest it within any other value will be whatever the number is. So we need an if this find is greater than zero. Nope, oh, that's the test. Greater than zero, then spit out penetration. What? Oh. Someone just pointed out a spelling error. And that works. So now we know all the penetrating versus non-penetrating hits. So one of the things I want to do for that is, all right, let's look at color coding. Love color coding. Penetrating, penetration, really? Might still be in there. Penetration is red. New rule cells that contain specific test non will be green. Good. Works appropriately. Although I I think I want to change the size to, yeah, we can get rid of this rule. I'll fix it in a second. I want to change the format, be a lighter shade of green. Makes it easier to read the text underneath when it's black. And we want, let's see, a lot of penetrating hits, not very many bounces. We have lots of range brackets to look at, and I'm not sure how detailed I want to get with this. Uh, data sort data does not have headers. We want column H smallest to largest, or largest to smallest, and we'll do a L value is equal to 16 inch 
going to be purple. All right. Can't copy a rule in this version. Equal to 14 inch. Those will be blue. Eh, that's not different enough. We we'll use a different shade of blue. And we'll go with a more saturated purple. Uh, more luminescence, please. More saturation. More luminescence. More saturation. I like a, um, well, not anymore. It's still purple. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to look at penetrations. For that, we're going to have to create a new calculation column. It's going to be it's sorted out by 14 inch. It'll be easiest rather than creating a formula to do it. Adjust sort by two different things. We'll do G first. And sort. We need another one. We need to do A as well. Don't care about those. We need we have 177 penetrations. And 16 inch had where is it? 37. Uh, Non-penetrating hit at 172 yards. Longest range penetration, 16,000 yards. Longest range, well, there's no significant damage uh, difference. 7,000 yards for common. 10,000 for common. So I, I don't think that's even worth comparing. I don't think the sample group is large enough or consistent enough. We're going to have to look at non penetrations. Actually, it might be more informative, especially since the 14 inch had more non penetrating hits. So that seems like a valuable stat to look at. 81%. Eighty-one percent, ninety-three percent. Convert that for ease. Percent of pens. Um, what else can we look at? Yeah, there are some special events in here. I don't see any use in really looking at those too heavily. We can't really calculate the amount of damage each of them did. Uh, looking at some of the stats, uh, shell weight, and these are pulled directly from the game files. Shell rate for weight for a 14 inch gun is 1372. 16 inch is 2048. If I understand, this is the actual weight used to calculate the tonnage of the ammunition, but it's also calculating the amount of damage it does and increases in explosive technology allow a more damage per ton used for high explosive filler and then the AP technology can be used to allocate a greater percentage of filler shell weight to high explosives but a lot of that's based on assumptions and some cursory looks at the game and I'm not going to put too much weight 
or value into that. We will look at rate of fire, which there's no decimal values. Nine and versus eight have uh, the range difference, which that translates to accuracy as well. 22 and 26. So those are actual game values. <clears throat> Basically, if you're shooting a 14 inch gun at 22,000 yards, you're at the edge, you can have very low accuracy. If you're shooting a 16 inch gun at 22,000 yards, you have roughly a 15% improvement on your accuracy. Meaning if you have 1% accuracy, you have with a 14 inch gun at 22,000 yards, 16 inch gun, you will have 1.15% accuracy rate. Not 16%, that would be absurd. So we're starting to see a little bit unfolding of what's actually occurring here. Um, some stats from the actual match. Number of barrels. So we had one battlecruiser with three triple turrets and one with four triple turrets. And then we had two quad turrets on the 16 inch. Uh, the 16 inch was the lead ship. And as you saw, most of the combat, I'm going to say two thirds of the rounds fired were probably out of the forward batteries. Forward barrels. So we have eight, or sorry, nine plus nine. And we have four. That doesn't seem right. Three, six, twelve. Learn to count. That's what happens when I do math really fast? So we have forward barrels. The lead ship was the 16 inch ship, so she got more combat. Less fouling of the range with ships being in, in between them and the target. I don't really know how to value that. But let's, let's actually write everything down so people can compare it. I'm assuming forward availability, let's call it, and aft availability. Forward batteries engaging roughly two-thirds of the battle. Aft availability roughly I want to say even less than one third, but we're looking at while they were firing. We were broadside for a fair amount. Let's make this three quarters. We normally had forward batteries available, aft batteries were available sometimes. And uh, I'll boost this by 20% because it was the lead ship. And eh, maybe that's overly optimistic. Slight boost, 10%. We're looking at that. Let's get the. I'm going to separate that out. Separate that out. We'll do. Insert aft barrels, and that will be six plus three, nine, and four. So, any given round while we were firing.
we were firing that many barrels from each ship. Yeah, I want to keep the decimal in there. Barrels per combat round. Combat. These ones being forward. These ones being aft. All right, then. I uh, really all that matters here is the percentages. Uh, let's take a look at total number of hits. Rules that plus that. Yeah, I know I could do a sum, but that takes longer. Kind of curious. So, if we look at totals on these, and this, we want to calculate all things being even. Ah, got to account for the rate of fire. Gonna make this less less useful. Uh, I don't know. Let's go make it a more abstract number. Because we're multiplying it by a rate of fire. But it's all right. We're dealing with percentages at this point. This is less accurate statement, but it doesn't matter. Looking at the total. So if we were to calculate number of hits, we would assume that this plus this value divided by the total you would expect percentage wise. Yeah, we can add in. Left to right, so number of total hits. See if we can get that to work appropriately. We need to switch this to C, C, and D2 still works. We would have expected under these criteria that the 14 inch would have gotten 191 of the hits and the 16 inch would have had 67 of the hits. Interesting, because that's a bit further off than I thought it would be. Like, I thought this seems kind of low for the combat we just engaged in. I'm wondering if the... Pretty sure I have the... Oh, what is it? The improved quads, the improved triples. That shouldn't be an inaccuracy for that. Could be that the 16 inch was disabled. I remember seeing the forward battery was disabled for a certain percentage of the battle. Drop that and we, we drop it a little bit. It really is interesting. The 16 inch definitely performed better penetration wise per hit. But the 14 inches threw out so much more volume. Uh, on a per barrel basis. 
we look at it. And um, I think I'm going to go the two thirds, one third. No, well, we'll use the availability. I want this times this. So we had. Oops. Thirteen and a half, vice five on any given combat. So what are we looking at there, really? We want to look at the per barrel performance. So hits per barrel. I want to use the modified value since the aft barrels don't count as much for the forward barrels. Although I'll, I'll do the unadjusted ones as well. Hits per barrel adjusted to hits per barrel raw. We'll look at this divided by this plus this. This plus this. There you go. Which is roughly one half either way. So we're using the availability numbers that we're assuming as well as the other ones. I might have to go back and look, and I don't know is we're even going to be able to tell from the recording what percentage of the battle the 16 inches were disabled. Could have been disabled for quite a while, accounting for that percentage of hits. But now that I've built this spreadsheet, I can really look at the, um, I can just plug stuff in and maybe make it a little bit more permanent where I just put the raws into the O column and it automatically pulls all this information out. We'll see. And then I can take the time to actually make, okay, how many penetration, Let's set up the formulas so I don't have to actually manually count any of this. We're going to do pen per barrel raw, pen per barrel adjusted. We're looking at raw will be this plus this. Divided. And want the adjusted penetrations. We look at all of that. Wait, why did this break? This did not break. That's grabbing the right ones. Oh, I accidentally copied the additional. Get this standardized so it's a little easier to read. And we're looking at a... Two to one ratio, two to one ratio. 1.8 when we look at penetration. So 16 inch is definitely doing a better job of penetrating and does more damage when it does penetrate. Just judging by the shell weight. That's something we really haven't looked at. 
then let's do damage per barrel raw and adjust it. So we'll take take the penetrations. Adjusted penetrations. And we'll multiply that by, oh, actually, yeah, if that's all I'm doing, why even bother futzing with it? Actually, we want to adjust it that way. Ta da! And now let's look at this as a difference. So looking at it, all right, I feel a lot better about these numbers. These feel more accurate and representative of the combat. 14 inches were dominating because there were more of them. And I think the 16 inches suffered because they did not, they were disabled for a percentage of the fight. You look at this 20% difference between straight up damage based on the shell weight. Not adjusting it for like the the explosive filler rates because the percentage should be roughly the same for both is that realistic i don't know i don't know if they account for everything in the uh, design of the game but that's close so assuming that the 16 inch front turret was disabled for 20 percent of the combat that seems realistic to me I feel a lot better about that number than I do these numbers. Um, I might use this again on a, another battle. Please let me know if you want me to. Um, I might even post it if you so desire and want to play around with it on your own. Uh, once I finish getting it to auto parse a little bit better, I'll just put it into like Google Docs and make it available so you can copy and paste it into your own Google Docs and start entering your own information. <clears throat> but with that um, let me know if this was interesting I like doing analysis from time to time I like breaking out my spreadsheets and looking at how does this game actually work what does this actually mean um, I've been wanting to do it I've been waiting for the end of this series because I wanted to take a look at how did this ship perform and do something kind of in the ideation phase I haven't figured it out exactly how I want to compare things but to have that post analysis i want to do that a little bit more so um yes do do let me know what you think leave a comment uh what you'd like to see well, where i went wrong and missed something terrible and it throws all the numbers off um where i'm not accounting for something so on and so forth let me know uh, i'm interested to hear what you have you guys have to say about this but with that uh, we've come to the end of the video. I have nothing more to say about it until I hear from you. So until next time, take care.